All right, I'm going to do um, a video demonstrating front wrap cross carry. As you can see, Lucas is already all wrapped up. I thought it might be helpful to start at the end, work backwards, and then work forwards again, so you can understand where each piece of the wrap went. So right now I've got my shoulders bunched, coming from behind, making an X under his bum, and going back to tie in the back. So to get them off, I'm just going to untie my knot, and then as you see, there's an X right there, and then I can drop each of the shoulders down. So now I've only got the path holding Lucas on my chest. So to wrap, I'm going to put that X back on my back. Hold your wrap out, bend your elbow, and have it go behind your head. What that does is it makes an X with the wrap on your back. Now we have to snug up this pass right here. To do that, I pull on the top, grab about two or three inches down, pull and wiggle my shoulder, grab again, pull and wiggle until this is really snug. Don't let it go so that you keep all that tension. And again on the other side, and by pulling up, I get a much better snug. So I'm going to move a couple inches and pull, move a couple inches until I pull all down the width of my wrap. I like to come straight down each side and make an X under my baby's bum. Now, right now my um, my shoulder straps are somewhere halfway in between bunched and capped, so you can wear them nice and snug and bunched. You can wear them capping your shoulder, and sometimes if I'm wearing for a long time, what I like to do is wear them like this. What that does is it flattens out that pass across my back and it makes it really snug. Generally, if I'm working or I need to do something, I need this movement. And then what you can do to support differently or to cover a sleeping baby is just to open up those X's. Don't know if you see this though. When I open up these X's here, I've now got slack in my wrap. So that can change your comfort. But that's it. That's a front wrap cross carry. Mommy. Mommy, you get